good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. No, right now I am not going to talk about a product that we sell. I am just driving home. Um, I'm driving home. I was just running some errands and oh my gosh my face is so oily because the sun is hitting me right here um i just really want to talk about driving now i know a lot of people want to know about the company and my gosh i kind of wish my face wasn't looking so oily but forget that right i know a lot of people want to talk about want to ask about well, they actually do ask about the job and the requirements. But the first thing that you should really think about is driving. If you're a person who love driving or dislike driving, there are things that you need to have in mind. You will drive a lot. And if you're not driving the company vehicle, well, you're driving your own car. Of course, they reimburse you for the mileage. Um, I don't really have the exact uh, amount in my head, but they do reimburse you for the mileage that you drive, which is a really nice thing. A lot of companies don't do that. Um, but driving is one thing that you have to have your mind focused on. Uh, like I said, when I start my route, I start at 2 or 3 in the morning to avoid traffic and because it's because my route allows it certain routes won't allow it where this first store opens up at 6 a.m. so you will hit traffic and if you're a person who gets upset in traffic and you well know not everyone drives the same there are new drivers there are angry drivers there are defensive drivers, there are crooked drivers, there are drunk drivers, there are texting drivers, there are sleepy drivers, who wants to drive it on the road. So you have to make sure that you know what you're doing on the road. So you need to be a good driver. And what makes you a good driver? Hmm, let's see. You need to know that um, always give yourself a space cushion. What's that, right? A space cushion is when it's based on your following distance with the car in front of you. Let's just say that you're in traffic, bumper to bumper. What does that mean? Do you really have to be bumper to bumper? No, that way, just in case something happened, you know, most of the times when there's traffic, it's because there's an accident ahead or there are constructions ahead or the cop pull over someone and everybody wants to slow down and stare. But just in case there's something on the road and you need to maneuver out of, the, out of the way, listen, you need that space cushion, okay? I will talk about driving in debt and that's coming soon. But first thing first, you want to work for this company, you need to know how to drive. Um, the company will uh, teach you uh, how to drive the, the vehicle, the truck. We will have, uh, you will have five weeks to train. Of course, it's not really going to base on driving between cones and stuff like that. But we will focus on you being able to reverse the vehicle into the bay or reverse in the right spot. Because you're not driving your two door, your four door, your, your SUV, you know what I mean? Like you're driving a big truck, so. Um, all right, so uh, I think I covered some, the first and most primary thing about the job is the driving, okay? You got city driving, you got highway driving, parking lot driving. So there are a lot of things that you need to keep in mind about being a route sales representative, you know? It says route sales representative. You be on the road, guys, on the road. Even as a merchandiser, you're driving to your stores. So, you know, you gotta 
know how to drive uh, safely to your store because if you don't show up to that store and the RSR or the RSA needs you, then that's a bad day. And nobody wants to be the guy who left somebody down. I know for a fact I hate to let people down. So keep that in mind, guys. Driving, driving, driving. Peace out. I'll catch you guys on the next.